All right, we're in a 2000 GMC Jukong. I don't know if you can hear the vibration. You hear the vibration? The faster you go, the louder it gets. All right, so let's take it in, jack it up, see if it's the bearings, the hot bearing. All right, so here we got the truck jack up. So I'm gonna spin the wheel. See that one seems to be okay. So now let's spin this one. You hear that noise? That's a bad bearing. Now the way you can tell, uh, you put your hand here in the bottom, one on the top, and then you try to wiggle it. Sometimes, even though it's not going to wiggle, it's not going to move, this is how you can really tell by spinning it. Alright, so that's a bad hot bearing. I'm going to show you the, the new one, the part number, and... uh. Let's get on it. Okay, so this is what we're going to be changing. So, as you can see, it's hold by three screw, and then the one in the center, if you're doing a uh, all-wheel dry, if not all-wheel dry, then you're just going to have those three. And you also got the sensor, the ABS sensor that we have to run connected so the part number it will work the same for both sides so it doesn't matter where you put them or if you just get one you can put it on either side so that's the part number right there they have another they got the this is the dry works they have another one supposed to be better than this one which is the Moog but we went with this one they nah it's not a much different on the price so they didn't have the other ones anyway but those are good as well. Uh, so let's get on it. So let's take the tire off first. All right, so before we jump on it, let me go over the tools you're gonna need before you start digging on this. So as you can see, there's the old one from the passenger side. Now this is the driver. So let me go over the tools. The drills are optional. You don't have to have a drill or neither this little Milwaukee thing. Um, this is just so I can do it faster, but if you wanna get one of these, so you need a little swivel with a 15. If you're gonna do it by hand, you're gonna need a ratchet. You're gonna need this tin to remove the, the wires. You need a plier, you need a 35, 22, 18, 15, and a hammer and a T55 T55 a 15 um, it gotta be a solid 15 like this you can't use one of those that one with a little ratch it won't work you need a magnet and you need another another wrench I happen to pick a 22 this is gonna be for leverage so I can like an extension, so I can use the 15 with this one extra extension. All right, so, and also WD-40. So, let's get on it. All right, so I get my 22, drop it on the drill. I get the, you can use the flathead here too. Let's go be behind there, pop this out. Put it on the side. Uh, get the wheel off. Alright. Get the wheel out of the way. Alright, so 
get a box or cardboard bag or something under because there's going to be a lot of a lot of metal rust and trash falling down get a safety jack stand so for backup uh, so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna turn the wheel all the way to the passenger Let's see if we can just pull it here yeah okay all right so once I have that now I'm gonna get my T55 T55 go this one's gonna have two so what I'm doing right now I'm removing the caliber goes one I'll go right on the bottom goes two this one I slide it out. I'm gonna just stand them up over here so I don't get no dust on it. Stick it right there. They both the same, so you don't have to worry about getting them mixed up. Now, uh, if the caliper you try to wiggle it and it doesn't come out, you get your flathead. You're gonna stick it here in the center of the rotor. And you're gonna pull to you. What that's gonna do is gonna push the caliper in a little bit so it can give you play. See now it came out, so I'm gonna set it up all the way up there. Now I'm gonna remove the caliper. That one we're gonna use the 18 18 right there Eighteen. Then we go on the top ready to take this out so I'm just gonna set it here on the side all right so now the rotor should be make sure you don't put no grease on the rotor so I'm gonna try to grab it all the way in the inside all the way inside here and then I can stick my hand over here got it out I just stand them up right there. All right, so now it's time to get the WD-40. So what you want to do, you want to put it on the screw here, and you also want to put it around. Just let it drip down. Put it on the other screw over here. And that one. There's another one on this side. Get it everywhere. Okay. Uh, this little plug here, put a little bit of oil because I don't like to get stuck coming out. Okay. So now we're ready to unhook. Let's unhook the wires. So you're going to come up here. You're gonna have a connector up here. This is the connection for the, you just press this up and you slide it out. Then the actual, the other end, you gotta get this thing and go right under. You gotta go under and take it out completely. There you go. As you can see there, come on the whole thing up. Now I go right on to the other one. Okay, right out. Then I go to this one. This is the one that I always like to break. But if it break, I show you how to fix that.
okay and actually it broke okay so to fix that all you gotta do is swipe this out first sorry about the shaking but doing this with one hand is not easy okay so we need to we need to poke that so to poke that you just get a real small screwdriver my flathead is too big all right let me get a screwdriver okay so I got this little thing so I'm gonna just poke it there so I poke it there actually let me get a hammer get a hammer Can you see right there there that's all you need you just really need to have the the hole because the, the, the other cable is gonna it's gonna go in there okay so now we're ready to get the screw out let me have an apple pie first Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my hammer and my flathead screwdriver. I'm gonna pop this cover off. So this might be a little tricky to get it off, but it needs to come out. You see it's getting a little damage. Don't worry. That's the only way you can get it out. You can always fix it. Fix it back to new. Anyways, that's gonna be covered with the wheel and everything, so nobody will see that. But that's how you get it out. You gotta wiggle it. Now I'm gonna get my 35. I'm gonna get this big nut off. This is where you get to use the magnet to get this washed out. Alright, so now I have everything here. Now it's time to get the 15. Get your 15. There's gonna be three, one on the top and two on the side. So one this is the one on the side here, there's another one on the other side. So put your 15 on it. Get your 20 or Whatever fits better here, you can get a, a rod or something to fit in there. So here we go. These ones are kind of hard because they got Loctite on it. Which we're going to be putting Loctite again. There. Let's take this out. top that's gonna be the little harder one to get to it because you can you can't put a socket on it that one I gotta do it by hand all right so now I'm gonna get the one behind first I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that one out this is where I get to use this just to get it a little faster Take it out completely. You can just leave it there. So now I'm gonna flip this around again so I can get to the other side. So put it right on the bottom. Hmm. 
15. So this one, I cannot get a socket in there because of the, that screw. Let me get a light. So that little screw is the one we gotta do by hand. So even if I try this, the screw will not let me. Let me do it by hand. Go. Okay, so now I'm finally getting this one out. There. Alright, so now I'm gonna get my little plier. I'm gonna squeeze these right here. Squeeze and pull. Come on. I'm gonna be so tight. All right, yeah, so you squish it here and pull it out. All right, so we got all three screw out. So now I'm gonna put this back straight. Again, right there. Okay, so now when I get the hammer, you see? Okay, get the hammer, and I'm gonna start hitting it slowly. bad like this one like it was really dry they, they heat up inside and then they get locked Screwdriver here to help it a little bit. Put pressure on it. Stick it on the bottom. It's almost out. Out. So now, you gotta pay attention here. You gotta pay attention with this heat shield where it goes, because it's easy to get it confused, and then you put it in the wrong spot, and then you gotta take everything out again. So this heat shield, remember, it goes right on the front. So if you don't want to get it confused, 
just set it down like that so you can just flip it on the other one and remember it goes just like that let me get the other one right here This little tag here, just stick your screwdriver and break the zip tie. So remember, this one goes just like that. That's from the bearing. That's from here. This one, you don't need that. All right, so I get my wire, stick it through here. like that gotta, gotta find the sweet spot on this to go in there you go it's a snap in so you're gonna start all your screw by hand first So now I'll get my little drill. 15. Get this one on. Come over here. Gotta do the top one slowly. Gotta do the top one by hand. All right, don't forget to put the Loctite on the screw. I forgot to show you that, but I took it back. I took them out and put it back in, so you can see right there the Loctite coming out. Make sure you get this tight, uh, same way you took it out, using your other extension. Okay. Show you lock all three. Alright, so don't forget to put your washer in, your big knot. And you got your cover, line them up. Tap it on the side and tap it in the middle because you might bend it in. There. That's in. Now it's time to get the rotor back in. Now I get my copper. Slide it in. Actually, hold on. Let me do something before I do that. So, this, this big knot, just like the other three, 
you gotta put a little bit of this uh, Loctite. Put it right on the tip, just like that. Now, slide this in. Start with my hand. That was an 18. Good enough. Get the floater straight. And now, get the caliper. We're gonna slide the caliper straight in. There you go. Make sure this rubber here is lining up with the hole. Because that's where you're gonna be sticking the screw we took out. So I'm gonna put this one in. This one is a little bit tricky, so you gotta make sure it's nice and straight. Because if it goes in crooked, it's gonna lock. So I don't think that's straight. That one's going in. So this one. Now I'll get my T25. T55, sorry. T55. T55. Time to run the wire. So remember, this one goes here. This one goes right here where we're poking the hole. What was that? Oh, the one we poked out came right through. Now, do this one right here. Now, before you do the top one, connect it first. Now you bring it up, find a little hole where it goes, and push it down. This job is done. We just gotta put the tire. Look all the trash that came out of there. That's why I told you put a box so you don't get a mess and then you gotta clean it up. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe. And share. See you.